biological clock in insect introduction cp richter introduced the concept of the biological clock in the 1927 paper on the internal cycles that govern animals drinking eating running and sexual behavior the biological clock is an intrinsic mechanism in the bodies of living creatures that creates circadian rhythm derived from the latin expression circa dies that means about one day the biological clock controls the rhythms of various metabolic activities of plants and animals some such as mating hibernation and migration have a yearly cycle others such as ovulation and menstrual cycles of women follow a lunar month the majority however have a 24 hour day night cycle called the circadian rhythm now historical background of biological clock the earliest recorded account of the circadian process dates from the 4th century bc when androsthenes a ship captain serving under alexander the great described diurnal leaf movements of the tamarind tree the observation of a circadian or diurnal process in humans is mentioned in chinese medical texts dated to around the 13th century including the noon and midnight manual and the mnemonic rhyme to aid in the selection of acute points according to the diurnal cycle the day of the month and the season of the year the first recorded observation of an endogenous circadian oscillation was by the french scientist john jacques diotius de mayen in 1720 He noted the 24-hour patterns in the movement of the leaves of the plant Mimosa pudica continued even when the plants were kept in constant darkness. In the first experiment to attempt to distinguish an endogenous clock from responses to daily stimuli. Control of the rhythmic release of hormones. Controlling molds in Rodinus prolixus. This is a picture. Describing the action mechanism of action in insect brain cells uh, possessing clock gene cycling expression are entrained by light. Open arrows. These cells regulate the rhythmic release of PTTH, prothrombotropic hormone, through the corpora cardiaca (CT). PTTH stimulates and acts as a ziggibar for the release of exosteroids by prothrombin gland, which also possesses light cycle entrainable autonomous oscillators. Exercise steroid action triggers the rhythmic expression of genes on different tissues modified. Insect mold involves the replacement of the entire exoskeleton by a larger one. This process under the control of exercise steroid implies this deposition of proteins and chitin in the newly formed tegument which continues between molds representing a daily growth layers whose formation is controlled by a circadian clock other hormones such as the juvenile hormone also appear to be produced in a rhythmic fashion gh has multiple targets and is concerned with different physiological processes such as control of ovarian activity and control of sensitivity, sensitivity to sexual pheromones in moths eventually inducing rhythmicity in their expression i would like to mention here that i am explaining the mold chain process in insects metamorphosis and the, their hormonal regulations which is being regulated by this biological clock true circadian, circadian rhythms in sensory sensitivity to odors have been revealed at both sensory and behavioral levels first described in drosophila at the peripheral level this rhythm expresses as a general variation of the entire antenna sensitivity to odors this rhythm is expressed even in isolated antennae and appears to be controlled by an autonomous antennal oscillator interestingly when behavioral response to a host odor carbon dioxide has been evaluated in blood sucking bugs no such paradox occurred for the moon these bugs every every a bimodal activity pattern they search for food at the beginning of the night and for refuge at dawn 
even when both host odors and pheromones are always present in their habitat, they could only respond to the odor, odor that is relevant at a particular moment. Behavioral rhythm, activity patterns. The easiest behavioral rhythm observable in insects comprises the daily pattern of spontaneous locomotion as representative of activity and resting period. It should be noted that <coughs> the daily pattern of spontaneous locomotion represents the summation of all the different activities performed by the animals instead. Several hematophagous insects feed at the moment of feed. They when their vertebrate vajibri, hosts are less active. If the host is diurnal, these insects may, may be biting activities con concentrated during the night and vice versa. This minimizes the risk of being detected by the host, which in many cases may become the predator when active. Okay, these are the two examples of temporal allocation of different activities in insects. Uh, based on their daytime, exhibiting bimodal patterns of spontaneous locomotion. Uh, top panel represents stratoma infestants, nocturnal insects. Bottom panel, the bimodal diurnal activity pattern of the set sea fly. In both cases, <coughs> different activities follow particular dynamics along entire activity period or a part of their time memory. <coughs> The ability of honeybee. I would like to mention another thing here that I am explaining the things and uh, detailing the stuff with examples. And I will go about the theory part and concepts in later videos. The ability of honeybees, Epis mellifera, to return to your food source at the same time each day was known early 100 years ago when the Swiss naturalist August Forel observed that bees arrived at his breast breakfast table for food because the bees always keep at the same time even when food was not present for and proposed that bees process a memory for time did give us later billing trained bees by offering them a sugar solution and artificial feeding set in a certain place at the same time during subsequent days the test period the feeding place was without sugar but each visiting bee and its time of arrival was recorded billing demonstrated that bees do indeed return at the same time each day she also showed that bees could be trained to come at any time of the day and moreover that they could be trained to come at two or more separate periods during the day provided that the interval between two successive training periods was less than two hours. The adaptive value of this ability is related to the fact that different plant species bloom at different times throughout the day and this is another consequence of the co-evolution plant pollinator. This is a concept which can be implied to all of us and can be tapped to utilize our true potential and make most of the use of productive time. Molecular mechanism behind the clock. I'll go in a very, what do I say, simple manner, not covering everything, gibberish, complicated stuff, but I'll try to explain it in a very simple, basic manner. Circadian rhythms are important regulatory processes which almost universally are used to hormone harmonize physiology and behave with the 24-hour geophysical cycles of light and temperature of our planet. After so, after a slow start, the comparative analysis of clock genes has developed into a maturity of certain recent years. Brain transplant, brain transplant or surgical interventions in larger instances defined. Uh, much of the early work in this area before the cloning of clock genes became possible, the identification of the mammalian genes clock, and to at all, 1997, and period, okay, revealed that vertebrate clocks have a common evolutionary origin with that of insects. Although some interesting differences have also emerged, this evolutionary classification is observed between insect species and even within species. Here we will mainly discuss about Drosophila as it is well studied and it is not possible to describe every insect order here. The cloning, uh, cloning of, of the Drosophila melanogaster period or gene paved the way for the modern molecular dissection of the circadian system. However, recent work suggests that post-translational modifications of clock proteins are more important than originally thought and they might provide the fulcrum for the whole machinery. At the core of the clock are the transcriptional activators clock CLK and cycle CYC that 
as heterodyne was bind to e-box sequences on the promoters of period and timeless theme initiating their uh, transcription. CLK, CYC and PER have a sequence similarity in that they all contain a PAS domain, a dimerizing region that is found in an enormous family of proteins, many of which are evolved, involved in environmental sensing. How fascinating, isn't it? And this is a structure of the Drosophila molecular clock within a clock neuron and the feedback systems and postsynaptic pathways, all sorts of mechanism of action is detailed and explained in this picture accordingly. Please pause the video and go through it. Thank you. Seemingly CLK or CYC are facilitated in their function by Najaya. Rasbilla orthology of the CDP P300 family of transcription coactivators, although an alternative scenario has also been suggested. After translation, PER and theme interact with each other. The PER, PAS domain, among others. And with a number of kinases and phosphatases that regulate stability, timing of nuclear entry and accumulation, and their ability to interact and replace the CLK device the dimer. As a consequence, abundance phosphorylation levels. Nuclear cytoplasmic ratio and the repressor function of these two protein cycling synchrony reaching a peak at the end of the day. Although the details have been unclear, the formation of a conflict between PER and PEM is a dynamic process, as exemplified by the fact that the two proteins can accumulate in the nucleus with different kinetic but still require each other in order to do so. As mentioned above, the complex also involves kinases such as double time, shaggy, and casein kinase 2 and phosphatases such as protein phosphatases 1 and 2a that phosphorylate or dephosphorylate PER or team and once transported inside the nucleus also CLK unlike PER and team CLK levels are constant throughout the 24 hour but there are PER dependent rhythmic changes in its phosphorylation status that have implications for its transcriptional activity but likely facilitated CLK phosphorylation by GBT, uh, resulting in diminished CLK or CYC affinity for DNA. Another transcriptional regulator clockwork or NCWO contributes to the inhibition of CLK CYC perhaps by facilitating changes in the chromatin structure. In, uh, entrainment of the clock function by lights on the blue sensitive PRY to stimulate CRY theme interaction. It stimulates PRY theme interaction, which is very important, which triggers theme degradation and prevents PER. Is, uh, is to team binding. Team is phosphorylated, ubiquinated, quintet, quinated, and degraded in protein. This is the schematic representation of clock molecule expression in brains of diptera and lepidopterans. The first one is of Drosophila, second is Musca, and third is Denneus. And there are different mechanism of actions concerning different transcription and translational factors proteins is enunciated here. Drosophila and mammalian like clock components in representative insects. The similarities and differences of mammalians and these Drosophila uh, genes concerning the biological clock mechanism of action is detailed here. The differences between Drosophila and mammalian clocks. Although in this review we focus on the clock of insects, it is convenient to refer briefly to the distinctive features of the mammalian clock. This is because mammalian like uh, clock characteristics are found in insects other than Drosophila, suggesting that both flies and mammals specialize by diverging form from a common design. Mammalian circadian clock genes, the corresponding genes in the fruit like Drosophila and the effects of changes in that mutation in those genes or the behavior that phenotype of that uh, This is uh, Drosophila normal clock genes and their mutant phenotypes. Please go through it if possible. Few examples and application of the concept in practical fields so far. Psychiatrics must, in any case, have a system to measure time their larvae live on the ground sucking root juices. They all appear all at the same time 13 or 17 years, depending on the species, after the eggs were laid. Within a few weeks, they mate, produce eggs, and die. One can imagine that they can know the season from the changing composition of the root juices, but 
how they count the years nobody knows the navigation of the fall migration of the eastern north american monarch butterfly genus plexus to their overwintering grounds in central mexico is a, is a time compensated sun compass that depends upon a circadian clock in their end biological clocks of insects could lead to more effective pest control this is the applicable aspect of this concept which we will try try to explore and enunciate researchers at oregon state university have discovered that the circadian rhythms or biological clocks in some insects can make them far more susceptible to pesticide at some times of the day instead of others with further research the scientists said it may be possible to tap into this genetic characteristic identify the times that a target is most vulnerable to a specific pesticide and use that information to increase the effectiveness reduce cost and decrease the amounts of pesticide necessary for insect control approaches such as these may also be highly useful in programs of integrated pest management ipm the researchers said which aim to minimize pesticide use prevent development of resistance to pesticides and use a broad range of physical or chemical control measures to enhance the long term effectiveness of an insect control program in crop agriculture the findings were just published in plus one a professional journal in work supported by the us department of agriculture national institute of health and national science foundation we found that it took triple the dose of one pesticide to have the same lethal effect on fruit flies at the time of day their defense is the strongest compared to when they were weaker said luisa who is a postdoctoral fellow in the osu department of zoology and lead author of the study different pesticides to twice the day. this makes it pretty clear that the time of day of an exposure to a pesticide can make a huge difference in its effectiveness Okay. In recent years, researchers have found that the genes which are sensitive to natural rhythms of day and night can have a wide range of biological effects on everything from fertility to feeding patterns, sleep hormone production, stress productivity, medication effectiveness, and many other functions. And they operate in multiple cells in many or more plants and animal species, including humans. In the newest work, circadian rhythms appear to coordinate the no biotic metabolizing genes or the genes responsible for breaking down and detoxifying various poisons such as. Pesticides. Besides that, it's possible that circadian clocks may also affect absorption, distribution, excretion, and molecular targets of toxicity. This rhythmic defense mechanism may have evolved in order to disarm the noxious compounds that plants produce to avoid being hit by insects. Jetwiga Gibbelswich, a professor of zoology at OSU, the OSU study found that insect defense. against two commonly used pesticides propoxor and fipronil were strongest during midday and weakest around dawn dusk or middle of the night biological clock of honey bee more similar to humans than to ground breaking research undertaken by a group headed by dr kai plot of the alexander silverman institute of life sciences at the hebrew university university of jerusalem has found that molecular structure of the biological of the honey bee is more similar to the biological clock of mammals than to that of life the research of dr blodge has been part of a, of a worldwide project for mapping the honey bee genome similar to the human genome project which was completed several years ago according to dr blodge discovering that molecular characteristics of the biological clock in bees uh, bee is closer to the biological clock of mammals than that of life was a big surprise since previously it had been thought that there is one type of clock that is typical of insects and another type typical of mammals these results change our understanding of the evolution of circadian clocks another reason that research on the evolution and function of clock genes is important is that these genes are involved in a variety of illnesses such as mental disturbances alcoholism problems of overweight and drug addiction as well as in process relating to age these are the references which helped me during my preparation of these presentations it was prepared a few years back when i was in university thank you if it had helped you i know it was a bit long but it will be helpful and i would be discussing the concept discussed here explained here i would be uh, dismantling the concepts and explaining it to everyone else uh, in an layman's language for sure Thank you. Please do subscribe. Thank you.